The Autumn Winter 2012 collection celebrates the innovation of the textile process. We explored a broad spectrum of techniques by visiting screen and block printers and collaborating with digital artists and embroiderers. Hi, my name's Polly and the design I created for Autumn Winter 12 was called Childhood Treasures, um, based on a Victoria screen in my mother's house when I was growing up. Um, and my sister and I used to spend hours trying to find all the little different pictures and this, particularly the elephant that's in, that I've put in the design. Um, we used to try and spot him because he used to get lost and we never used to be able to find where he was again. So we used to spend a long time looking at this Victorian screen. Um, and so I used that to create a decoupage image for um, a design for Autumn Winter 12. This is the original artwork and I collected lots of different images and hand drew pictures um, to put together in a decoupage of um, ideas based on this Victorian screen that was in my house when I was little. Hi, my name's Emma Morstan and I'm the Head of Design for Liberty Art Fabrics and the design that I created for Autumn Winter 12 was called Rainbow Rose. The design Rainbow Rose is inspired by the arts and crafts movement and they use of sub patterns behind larger scale florals. The whole design was hand painted um, with inks um, after being hand drawn into a hand drawn repeat. I then hand stitched into the design in the way that the arts and crafts movement did in their loosely hand stitched embroideries, which you'll see in many of the arts and crafts houses that you might visit today. The design was called Rainbow Rose because um, at the time I was pregnant and my elder daughter wanted our baby to be called Rainbow and we were actually going to call her Rose, so the design was called Rainbow Rose, but in fact she wasn't called either. Hi, I'm Robin, I'm one of the designers at Liberty Arts Fabrics. I was given the brief of creating a design based on embellishment for the embellishment group for Autumn Winter 12. I designed haberdashery which was inspired by applique designs um, based on some Japanese images that I saw that I was really liked. So using my inspiration I created my own design at home, um, stitching together bits of fabric. Hi, my name's Shona. Um, the design that I did for Autumn Winter 12 is called Alina. Alina is a digital um, design. It was inspired by an exhibition that I went to see called The Shadow Catchers at the V&A Museum. It was a, an exhibition based on um, cameraless photography. So on the back of that, I, um, I went home and I created my own dark room. Um, I got some photosensitive paper and I went and got some foliage from the garden, kind of dropped different flowers and leaves onto the um, paper and exposed it and created about 30 different shots. Um, then on the computer, I amalgamated them all together to produce Lena. Hi, I'm Sally, and one of the um, designs that I did for the Autumn Winter 12 collection is this one called Milliner. This design was um, in one of our groups which was based on print techniques and I used some photographs that I'd taken of um, uh, some pondweed um, and some leaves and it's normally a design that we'd, we would have to do digitally because there's so much colour in it and it's quite difficult but um, because it was based on print techniques we decided to try and do it conventionally with screens. It took about 10 screens to create this design so we were quite pleased with the result. Hi, I'm Anna Baruma, I'm the archivist at Liberty and um, I'm going to talk to you about Axion which was a design that was originated from an archive design. The archive is full of orphan pieces that uh, designers in the past were going through the archive and when they liked something they just ripped it out of books and they stuck it on a piece of paper and then it sometimes went in and sometimes not. And so I've got a lot of these loose pieces, so I have no idea where it comes from. don't know anything about it, but it appealed to me and so I showed it to Emma and it appealed to her as well and it became a very successful design and here it is. This is the original and that's what it turned into.